एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम we have uh, covered in part 1 uh, definition of rank minors now in part 2 will be just learning um, minor concept anyhow uh, it is in the definition theoretically i'll be discussing very simple and uh, easy methods to find rank but first i'll discuss minor method only Hello everyone. Now uh, welcome to S Chand Academy. I am Dr. Seema Thakran. If you want to study this topic in detail, please refer to the book by S Chand Publishing. The e-book link is given in the description box below. As per the definition, we should know minor method, and then I'll discuss a very easy and very uh, like you can apply if you are finding rank, you can apply that method anywhere in any matrix. So rank of a matrix by minor method. so rank of a matrix by minor method i am considering because there is no condition on rank uh, or for finding rank there is no condition on order so i am taking any order i have already told you uh, square matrices concept this is 3 cross 2 matrix now first observe this matrix and then we'll work on the minor uh, concept how uh, like the biggest order the biggest square matrix or you can say the highest order square matrix of uh, what order you can just extract from this matrix you can see this is 3 cross 2 so 3 by 3 matrix you cannot extract from this matrix a square matrix but easily 2 by 2 matrix you can easily extract and how many 2 by 2 matrices you observe how many 2 by 2 so this is one matrix of 2 by 2 then this is another 2 by 2 matrix then considering this and this my point is if you see any matrix just see the biggest or the highest square matrix you can take out from that matrix so first we can take out only 2 by 2 so i am considering this square matrix and now take up the minor part minor means multiply this into this then this into this minus you are getting non zero okay so the highest 2 by 2 matrix you are able to extract from this order matrix which is given to you and the minor value or we call it determinant also the determinant value is non zero in this case you will say that the rank is 2 no need to check any order because this is the highest highest square matrix which you which you can take out which you can extract from the given matrix and the minor this a uh, 4 into 1 or we call it determinant also so 4 minus 6 is minus 2 so this is 2 by 2 minor you can say or 2 by uh, 3 by 3 uh, determinant will be just learning but first you understand 2 by 2 so if it is still up to 2 by 2 order it is completely fine you can find that in this case the rank of the given matrix is 2 and only we have to just see at least one non zero minor of this order and i am not calculating the rest 2 by 2 matrices which we still have one is 3 4 5 6 i am not checking now they they might get me zero but it's all fine at least one non zero minor i need and i have got it and i can say on the basis of that i can say rank is 2 uh, you peop, uh, some of the student find this method easy but this is not applicable if the uh, matrix is matrix is bigger so it means we need to have a method which is so minor method is not applicable if it is 4 by 4 5 by 5 anyhow in the definition you always find that minor uh, method or minor definition is given i just come to the method which is applicable in each and every problem whether it is of any order uh, and it is simple also and that is the method is called upper triangular upper triangular 
matrix method. It is simple anyhow because we have learned row and column operations. So I am considering the matrix and this time you will see I am taking a big matrix. And if I start doing it by uh, a minor method, it becomes difficult uh, uh, if from a teacher perspective, perspective I am telling you. So as a student you can understand now. So suppose this is the matrix, this is 3 cross 4 matrix. So suppose uh, anyone who is comfortable with the minor method, they can apply. This time you, you will get only 3 by 3. Uh, a maximum 3 by 3 square matrix it means 3 by 3 matrix you find out then determinant you take and then you calculate if it is non-zero then you can say rank is 3 but little difficult so how you apply this method the easiest and the most popular method anyhow see the diagonal main diagonal this is the main diagonal now your purpose will be to make these elements zero below diagonal what you do make all the element 0 this is first uh, step of the method so this is already 0 how to make this element 0 how to make this element 0 this is 1 and when you will make the, uh, the element 0 this also you learn if in this row you are making these elements 0 you will be using this as pivot element this very clear if in first column you are making uh, these two elements 0, this is the requirement of the method, then you have to have used this element, this is 1. So, how to, ma uh, how to make this 1, 0? So, I just simply subtract R2, R3 may say, this is my R3 and this is my R1, this is R2. So, what to do? Simply subtract R3 minus R2. So, R3 operation you are applying as R3 minus R1. And these row operations is not that you learn in your engineering only. You have already learned in 12th also, 11th and 12th. So R3 minus R1, it means you are keeping the first two rows as it is. No, not, uh, you are not touching. It means you quick, quickly uh, write the first two rows. Now simply R3 minus R1, it means you subtract the R1 first row elements from the third row. So this will give you 0, minus 2, minus 4 and minus 3. Now what to do? You have to make this element as 0 as per the method. I am telling you below diagonal you have to have 0. So now I will make this. This is my main diagonal. I will make this element 0. So this is my R3. How to make this element 0? This is minus 2. This is 7. What I will do? I multiply this by 7 and I multiply this by 2 and I just add up. This will become 14, this will become minus 14, adding will give me a 0. So I multiply R3 by 7, I simply multiply this uh, R2 by 2 and I will get, now you can put the value of uh, R3 is minus 2, so minus 14, then R2 is 7, so 14, so minus 14 plus 14 is 0. It means the elementary operation is completely fine and this is again in R3. It means no touching first row and second row. So this will be 0 and minus, uh, this will be minus 28 plus 16. So minus 28 plus 16, it will give me minus 12. Then minus 21 because you are uh, writing here R3 elements and here you are writing R2 elements. So minus 21 plus 19 plus 18, sorry. So it will minus 3. So now you can see below diagonal, I have zeros. So it means uh, the last step, uh, till last step we are, uh, we have reached. Now to how to judge the rank by this method. You just check how many non-zero rows you have. This is non-zero. Non-zero row means if at least one non-zero entry you have in the row, it means it is fine. So this row is non-zero, this row is non-zero, this also non-zero, you can see non-zero elements. So it means how many non-zero rows you have? So rank of this matrix is 3. Rank will never uh, exceed the number of uh, the square matrix. Like how, uh, how uh, I already told you, the order was how much? 4 cross 3. But the biggest square matrix you can extract from this matrix is 3 by 3. It means rank cannot be more than 3. 
And now another thing is can any matrix has rank 0? Can any matrix has rank 0? So answer is yes. Only matrix which has rank 0 is a matrix any order but having all entries 0 as 0. This is the only I should not say a matrix having all zeros is having rank 0. So this is the matrix with rank 0. It means rank can be 0. Rank cannot be negative in any case for any matrix. So this is very uh, common method, very very useful method and very simple method. So what to do? Below diagonal you make all the elements 0 by row and column operations. In rank, there is no condition you are applying row operations or column operations. You are dividing the matrix. You are multiplying the matrix. You can do like uh, anything uh, with a matrix. It means if you are multiplying or you are taking it, anything common from a matrix, the matrix will never, uh, the rank will never change. So this is anyhow plus point for a rank. Row operations you can apply at a, uh, simultaneously column or uh, even you can apply. So uh, one more example. And because these, this is very important matrix, I am just increasing it. Can you now uh, judge or identify which matrix this is? This is 4 cross 4 identity matrix. So 0 matrix has rank 0 and identity matrix 4 cross 4 will have rank 4 because identity matrix already has the property you can see below diagonal you have all zeros below diagonal you have all zeros it means it is in the form where you can judge and decide what will be the rank so this is non-zero row this is non-zero this is non-zero so what is the rank it means rank of an identity matrix is equal to the order order is 4 cross 4 and you can see rank is also 4 so rank of identity matrix is 4 uh, these are the uh, two matrices where we can fix up or we can uh, judge or we can generalize that this will be the rank. Rest you have to see, you have to apply the method. There is no like uh, 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 nothing is like fixed that if this is the matrix, this will be the uh, rank. But for identity and for zero matrix, you can be sure that the rank will be equal to the order. And for zero, there is no, no order condition. There is no order relation anyhow, it will be zero only. So this is the end of the part 2. We did examples on rank. I One example I did on the basis of minor. Anyhow that my method is not like applicable to uh, problems where the order of the matrix is high. And we discussed the very important and simple method that is upper triangular method. And what we do in that method that below diagonal we may call the elements 0 and then we see how many non-zero rows we are getting. And uh, the number of non-zero rows equal to the rank of the matrix. If you want to study this topic, rank of a matrix in detail, please refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe S. Chand Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates of the upcoming videos. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.